mind the step here. Archaeologist Dr. Okasha Eldali is my guide. He was about to reveal the most astonishing story of my journey so far. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Like most people, I believe that Egyptian hieroglyphs had remained completely undeciphered until the 19th century. Then came the chance discovery of the famous Rosetta Stone. This stone had the same inscription written in both hieroglyphs and Greek. It provided the crucial clues which British and French scholars used to decipher the writings of ancient Egypt. That's the usual story one hears. But Dr. Aldali has made a discovery that dramatically alters it. He has recently unearthed a number of rare works by the Islamic scholar Ibn Wahshiya. What he did was figure out a correspondence between hieroglyphs like these and letters in the Arabic alphabet. If you look here, for example, at Ibn Wahshiya's manuscript, you see he's giving us the Egyptian hieroglyphic signs oh, yes, that have Arabic phonetic value. Underneath. Yes, and they have the phonetic value in Arabic underneath. So look very carefully at this one. He says seen underneath that seat. Yes. Now look at this seat here. That is S. That seat in Egyptian hieroglyphic is used for the sign S, seen, which okay. is what you see here, seen. That is the name of the god Osiris. Osiris. Oh, with an S. That's the seen. Yeah. This is the letter H. This one here. This is the ha. The water wave water, right. is the letter N or noon in Arabic. T and the letter F. These are all letters. These are all letters. But, then he but how did he decipher the hieroglyphs? The one good thing about the early Arab scholars was their ability to link ancient Egyptian language, we call hieroglyphic, to link it with their own contemporary Coptic. They realized that Coptic is nothing but the later stage of ancient Egyptian language. And they realized this because the translation movement had literally placed hundreds of Coptic texts into their hands. The scholars could now see a direct link between hieroglyphs and Arabic. What fraction of these symbols would have been correctly deciphered? They got about 14 letters. They cracked more than half of the Egyptian hieroglyphs correctly. So that was a remarkable achievement for people on the 9th century, 10th century. Well, that's probably the biggest revelation for me so far on, on my travels, that uh, Egyptology didn't begin in the 19th century. Yet again, it seems that Islamic scholars actually cracked hieroglyphics and they cracked it for, for strange reasons. They cracked it because they were interested in, in astrology and in, in alchemy. But here is another example of this amazing translation movement. They weren't just translating Greek and, and, and Indian and Persian texts. They were translating Egyptian hieroglyphics as well. Absolutely incredible.